Hello. Oi. Hola. This is an introduction to the Education Policy Analysis Archives, Archivos Analíticos de Políticas Educativas, Archivos Analíticos de Políticas Educativas, or, as most people know it, EPAI. EPAI is a peer review, open access, international, multilingual, multidisciplinary journal designed for researchers, practitioners, policymakers, and development analysts concerned with education policies. I am Audrey M. Ryan Beardsley. I'm the lead editor of EPAA, and I'm professor in the Mary Lou Fulton Teachers College here at Arizona State University. And I'm Gustavo Fishman, professor and coordinating editor of EPAA and also director of scholarly communications in the Mary Lou Fulton Teachers College at Arizona State University. In this video, we are telling you about EPAA, given we are celebrating EPAA. EPAA is in celebrating its 30th anniversary and we are here to tell you about the journal's history, its accomplishments in the area of educational policy research, and what we are doing to celebrate EPAA's 30 years. So EPAA was founded by Jim B. Glass in 1993 as a free-to-read online journal. In the original story or the rumor is that Jim managed the journal using the back of an envelope, but that's a rumor. It was one of the first open access journals, even before the idea of open access was formalized. You will hear more about open access publishing next, but as a pioneering open access journal in education policy, EPAA has now been publishing continuously for three decades. EPAA has also pioneered and experimented with other areas. Uh, we began publishing articles in Spanish in 2001, then we followed with articles in Portuguese in 2003. And since its origins, EPAA has tried to use a publication model focused on contributing on the mobilization of rigorous scholarship understanding that the good research is not produced just in English or in Spanish or in Portuguese, but is produced all over the world. Good science requires expanding as much as possible open access for authors and readers. And for that reason, our priorities surrounding publishing good scholarship is being open and being respectful of our readers and our authors. And accordingly, we have attracted some of the most influential education policy scholars in the world. We don't want to give you names, but you know who you are. EPA articles are diamond or platinum open access. That is, and as briefly touched upon before, the articles in EPAA are freely accessible to authors and readers. Authors retain copyright without restrictions, and EPAA supports uninhibited sharing and reuse of its publications through an international Creative Commons Share Alike license. These policies allow anyone with an interest in educational policy to read, share, and download EPAA articles without cost. EPAA also has a global reach and scope, with more than 40 editors and more than 120 editorial board members from Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, Chile, Colombia, Israel, Mexico, Netherlands, Portugal, Spain, the United Kingdom, and the United States. EPAA engages authors, peer reviewers, and readers from many countries, including but also well beyond these nations. As also briefly noted prior, EPA publishes in three languages, English, Spanish, and Portuguese, without restriction as to conceptual or methodological perspective, time, or place. Accordingly, EPA does not have a predetermined number of articles to be rejected and or published. Rather, we and our editorial team believe that the quality of EPA articles should be judged or assessed as based on the articles that we publish and not the percentage of articles that we reject. For EPAA, inclusiveness is a key criteria of manuscript quality. Like other more traditional scholarly journals, EPA publishes empirical articles, commentaries, and special issues. But unlike many other journals, EPAA has a continuous publication schedule, publishing and releasing new articles every week. These key aspects, that is, being open access, multilingual, inclusive, engaged in weekly publications, allows for more timely dissemination of educational policy research, getting information into the hands of more and more people and more and more diverse audiences, which ultimately results in a greater impact. So, in terms of EPAA's impact, 
Using the H index of Google Scholar, EPAA is the highest ranked open access journal in the educational policy category. And after several years at the seven, number five, and number three spots, EPAA recently jumped to now being ranked as one of the top two education policy journals. EPAA is also listed in more than 20 scholarly indexing agencies, including Scopus, Emerging Sources Citation Index, the Citation Record Directory of Open Access Journal, EBSCO Host, Excellence in Research for Australia, the Outlet Ranking, Red Alic from Mexico, and Qualis from Brazil. EPAA also continues to grow its national and international presence, many thanks to the continued support of the Mary Lou Fulton Teachers College at Arizona State University, and also given the development of our new partnerships, we are also strengthening older ones. This year, for example, the University of Guadalajara in Mexico is joining EPAA, and we also continue to work with Universidad de San Andres in Argentina, the National Education Policy Center at the University of Colorado Boulder in the U.S. We are also exploring new partnerships, so if you have ideas or suggestions, please contact us. So, happy anniversary to us. Finally, it is important to note that impressive scholarly production has been generously supported by institutions again with the lion's share of support provided by the Mary Lou Fulton Teachers College here at Arizona State University. It is now time, however, and in honor of our 30th anniversary, to diversify the journal's sources of funding if EPAA is to remain innovative, globally engaged, and sustainable. For this purpose, please join us in congratulating EPAA on this special anniversary. In celebration, please also be on the lookout for our first celebratory event, a publication authored by EPAA's founding father, Gene V. Glass. In this piece, he discusses the journal's history, his inspirations for the journal, his beliefs, and the like, all of which helped him develop EPAA from the beginning. Should you also feel so generous, please, and in coordination with the journal's 30th anniversary, consider participating in our fundraising campaign. We at EPA want to improve and expand EPA even further, for example, to other nations globally. We want to innovate more, and we also want to be more efficient in the work that we do with EPAA. Perhaps most importantly, we want to respect our values and remain open access. But to do this, well, really all of this, we must raise more funds. Open access does not mean the same as zero cost. Publishing is very expensive. Hence, should you want to celebrate our 30th anniversary with a donation of, for example, $3, $30, $300, $3,000, or whatever amount not centered around our 30th anniversary, we would greatly appreciate it. Please head to our EPAA website or click on the link below if interested. Thanks for listening, thanks for celebrating, and thanks for being involved with EPAA in whatever capacity or role that might be. Thank you. Muito obrigado. Muchas gracias.